Uh, the Collaboration of the Year Award is presented to an individual or organization that, that symbolizes the true spirit of collaboration. Brian has done so many things for this community that nobody knows about. I think he's been a significant business leader in the community with the work that he's done with Old Town and Old Town Square Properties. And in addition to that, he also cares about people who are not likely to be high on people's radar screen as deserving of help. And his work with the homeless has been going on for almost 25 years, which is rather unique. He has um, collaborated with Colorado State University to ensure that uh, not just the students, but the people who live here are people who are treated well. There are a lot of folks in this community. It's a wonderful community that there's always lots of people who are willing to give their time or give you know their experience or give, give some money, but it's a very rare combination to find somebody who is willing to give all three of those things and, and do it at the level that he does while still also maintaining you know, an incredibly important business for the community as well. He's a silent person. He's, again, a gentle giant. That, uh, that doesn't want any recognition. He is really, can be really intense and really dedicated to solving a problem, but he never loses his sense of humor about it. So he claims he comes out of Colorado State University. He claims he did a thesis, but Brian, it's empty. Maybe that's all you had to say at graduation. We are proud that Brian Sukup is a graduate of the business school at Colorado State University but I'm still looking for his transcripts if I can take his diploma away from him. Brian has a tremendous care about this community and the quality of life for everybody. One of the most successful human beings you can find in our community is Brian Sukup because what he does is have social impact. He doesn't seek nor does he get a lot of thanks and he should get a boatload. No matter what it is, Brian Sukup is there, but yet you don't see him. So it's good that United Way found a way to recognize the contributions of Brian Sukup. Please join me in welcoming this year's 2011 Collaboration of the Year Award winner, and I must say a very reluctant award winner this year, Brian Sukup. This isn't going so good. Did I just lose my diploma? Is that what he was saying? I, th I, I fooled him for so long. Thanks for this uh, humbling honor. I, I'm very sincere in saying how neat it is what United Way does for this community. Gordon, you put a tremendous team together and so many good things have come around by what they've done. Uh, I like that thing about the best place, the best place that we've gotten so many accolades over the last few years throughout the country, best place to retire, best place to raise a family. And more and more has come out as far as the best place uh, for people who, I like to say, care about other people. You, you mentioned that in the paper article not too long ago. And uh, I like that. People, best place for caring people. I, uh, in the different boards and committees I worked on, it made it easy for me. I mean, everyone stepped up to the plate. Boy, they were ready to go. They always, whatever project was, they were on top of it. They were ready to go. With that, I have to uh, mention who is going to retire this year. My buddy, my partner, uh, my mentor. Uh, Sister Mary Alice Murphy. She, uh, what a character. <laughs> she
She uh, has a secret weapon she always uses, at least on me, but it, I think it's an international uh, nun code where if you're a Catholic, you don't say no to a nun. <laughs> project after project, there she goes. I'm not gonna say no, nun. Last time I said no to a nun, second grade, York, Nebraska, parochial school, I was in trouble. Nun standing right over me. Brian, you don't say no to a nun. You say no to nun, that's like saying no to God. Ooh. And then she added, saying no to a God? What's, well, that only means one thing. Eternal damnation in the flames of hell. <laughs> then you fast forward, okay. Sisters asked me for the next project. All right, we're gonna do this, okay. Well, let's see, what are my options here? Let's weigh it. Eternal damnation, little volunteer work. She knew I'd come up with the right answer. Uh, years ago, I got from a charitable organization a, a little story that I'd like to share with you. It, I keep it in my office. Neat little story, so I want to share it with you. Goes like this. On the street, I saw a small girl, cold and shivering in a thin dress, with little hope for a decent meal. I became angry. I said, God, why did you let this happen? What are you going to do about it? There was no answer. I went home later that night. The answer came quite suddenly. God said, I certainly did do something about it. I made you. Thank you, you all. <laughs>